<laughs> We're just trying to make our way up and I saw a guy rise. Unless our camera guy's walking up there, I gotta get a cast before he goes by and spooks him. First cast comes up and takes it. They come screaming at you. Whoa. Might have a chance of this guy actually landing a fish here today because a little bit of a back eddy here. Look at this. Oh. Oh, he's not ready. Feet together. Oh, right below me here. <laughs> you know, like Don said, we'll get another shot of where I picked him out of here in a minute. See the nice run right behind me. I tried to fish it and I actually had a couple smaller fish hit. Just above it though, the water's a little bit calmer. Cast right into shore. And guess what we got? We got the big guy of the pool. Trying to get him close, he goes right behind me and down again. So, I'll back up. It's just not quite ready, but there. No, nothing left. Look at that fish. Oh, what a beauty. Just the side of the mouth. I'll show you that in a second. Look at that. Hey, not a beautiful fish. Isn't that a gorgeous fish? Oh, just love the colorings here. It's like somebody's been after him. He's got a little bite mark or something on his back, probably just coming out of the spawn. And there he goes. Oh, awesome. Just awesome. Let me grab the fly, show you what we're using here. Nice big green drake. Get that up there for wet. So there's the fly. And there's where I picked this guy off of, just in that calm little area there. It's just these big guys like to sit in that calm. Just like that. And that's on the green drake again. Of course that's what we're focusing on this show are the, the green drakes. And it's just a nice, actually, you know, it's not the typical mayfly tape. Look at that fish, eh? It's nice. Down right on the tongue. Fly pops out. Not huge, but uh, look at that. Nice fish. Okay. Pretty colors here. I just love the colors of the fish here. The bigger heads, seems like their heads are bigger than, than what their bodies are. Let's get back in the water here. And revive a little bit. There he goes, right on. The big green drake. You know, I have not used any uh, fly floatant or any of the, the fly line dressing that we use as a floatant today. All I've done is I've just used the shake and bake to continually dry the fly out. When it gets too saturated, what I do is I change the fly and I've got about four flies that I've been working with today. And at the end of the day, I'm just gonna have to take them all out and get a good dry. Actually, by the time I'm down to the fourth one, I should be able to switch back to the first one. It should be dry enough. Boy, I have to get down in the water for this guy. Ah, oh, that's a nice fish. Come on in here, boy. Oh, yeah, it's a nice fish. Boy, are they ever on those green drakes today? I think we'll definitely tie that fish on the bench. Oh, there, oh. there he goes. Well, this is right up at the head end of the pool. Again, Don's just found a place on the other side where they're just feeding like crazy on these green drakes. And the uh, same thing, I can find a good spot here too, just the close to shore, head into the pool. Give it a minute, once you catch a fish, and go back, you usually plug another one. Oh, what a great way to fish when these big green drakes are happening because the fish are not shy at all about coming and taking them. And again, as I mentioned last time, I had uh, four flies. Well, I just put on the fourth one and it was the third cast of the new fly because the last one wasn't floating very good. They seem to like it floating nice and high. See, they're so pretty. This guy's got a little meat to him. For her. Hands wet. There we go. Nice big male right off the, the top end. Not quite the same pretty color down the side as as some of the others, but still beautiful fish. Lots of nice black dots on them. I got another drowned fly. This big fella came up. Want a little something to eat? Oh, he's a nice one. Just a little sip too. Didn't take it hard at all. Just a nice little sip. Oh boy. Now that is a nice fish. Let's let him on here. Look at that. Is that a beauty? 
Isn't that nice, eh? That's a nice long fish, just healthy. Getting into feeding again, I'll let him go. There he goes. Off to play another day. Wow, just incredible action with the green drakes. Nice thing about green drakes, big mayfly, really, really big, solid. More than a mouthful for most fish, just a huge meal, and I think that's why they key on them so much when they're coming off. So hopefully we'll continue to have this action. Wow, this is great. Maybe we'll even tie one on the bench later. Hi everyone, and welcome to the bench. Well, today we're gonna tie up a green drake. You know, there's nothing more special than being out on the water when there's a big green drake hatch going on. They're a big fly, and they usually attract up some really big fish. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie this fly. For the hook, we're gonna use a TMC 100 size 14 dry. We're gonna use some 8-aught olive thread, a pheasant neck feather for the wing. For the tail, we'll use some green pheasant rump, We'll use some light olive dubbing for the body, a thin yellow floss for the rib, and some dyed green saddle hackle for the hackle. I started the fly off by tying on my thread, getting it to the bend of the hook. I've taken my green pheasant rump, and I'm just gonna take about 20 strands off the very tip, the real fine section of the pheasant rump, and we're gonna put on the tail, and we want that tail to extend back probably about an inch and a half. These green drakes do have a nice long tail to them and we'll just tie it in. Now for the tricky part of the fly, we're gonna tie in the wing. I brought my thread back up towards the eyelet. We're gonna take our brown pheasant neck feather. We're gonna hold it by the tip and reverse the direction of all the barbs on the feather. Pull them down towards the bottom of the stem and lay this on the hook so that the good side of the feather is pointing down onto the hook and tie in by the barb tips. Now that we have the feather actually tied onto the hook, we've tied it down in the front of the feather. We're gonna pull the feather back and tie in around the back so that this wing sticks up nice and straight. And then we'll go through the process of actually splitting the feather to form two good wings. How we're gonna do that is take the top of the feather. Now these feathers split very easily. You pull from both sides of the wing and you'll see it'll come apart and split into two nice segments of wing. Now that the wing tips are tied in, what we're gonna do is tie around the front and the backs and actually make them nice and upright and divided. Now we have the wigs tied in at the top and we have our tail tied in at the back. We're gonna take a piece of our thin yellow floss and tie it in into the body and then we'll just hold it off the back in preparation for ribbing later. I've taken some light olive dubbing. You can use medium olive also, just to match the green drake color. And we're gonna dub on a nice thick body. Again, green drakes are tapered from the back, thinner at the back, and a little thicker towards the front. So try to match that body up. And dub forward and wrap in. The body's all tied in. I'm now gonna take my thin yellow ribbing and make about four to five segments up onto the body just to form that nice segmented body. Green drakes have a nice yellow segmented body. Now for the last stage in the fly. I've taken my dyed green saddle hackle. We're gonna tie it in by the butt, just in back of the wings. And tie forward and make sure that hackle's tied in nice. Snip off your excess. And now we're gonna wrap forward. And fill in that hackle really nice and full because these green drakes are big flies and they do have a lot of legs. You know, a green drake hatch is just such a special thing to take in. They have really good green drake hatches on the Crow's Nest River, actually all through BC and Alberta. Check your area, see if you have a green drake hatch. If you do, make sure you take it in because it'll be well worth your while. Stay tuned, we've got some more great action coming right up. <laughs>